Historian Convention many years ago that really changed my life and probably many others too that heard that story. And if she'll come up and share this, what she shared, because she gets tonight our top banana award. And share with us, and um, then we're going to do a little activity after. I was going to bring a real banana and I forgot. <laughs> uh, but it might have been bruised and brown from all the heat. So, okay, there is a method. You guys have maybe heard the story, but I'm going to tell it. There's a method for trapping monkeys. And you have a little crate, a wooden crate, with slats that are just far enough apart that a little monkey can reach his hand in and pull it out, just like this. But inside that crate, they put a bunch of bananas. So this monkey comes by and he sees the bananas and he thinks, ooh, I need that banana. So he reaches in, grabs the banana, but when he's hanging on to this banana, he cannot get out of the crate. Are you visualizing this monkey trap? So this monkey is totally trapped. But the question is, is he really trapped? I mean, is he really stuck in that spot? Or is it the banana that's holding him trapped there? So I, was kind of, I heard this story and so I was, picturing all these different analogies. So, and, oh, and actually, these monkeys will hang on to the banana and the trappers will come. And the monkeys are just, ah, you know, we're stuck here, we're totally stuck. They may as well be in a prison because they're not willing to let go of this banana. And so I got to thinking like, this is, this is like life. What bananas are we hanging on to that are holding us trapped, that we are imprisoned because we're not willing to let go? So these monkeys will literally stay trapped, the trappers will come and take them away, and they lose their freedom because they're not willing to let go. So I started to imagine, what if there was a little monkey who realized, you know what, I'm not trapped. Like, I'm just gonna let go of this banana and slip my hand out and run away. Smart monkey, right? Then what freedom does he have? He's free to do whatever he wants to do, right? Now, here's some cool, interesting things to think about. Do we have this in life? Do we have beliefs or do we have desires that we're hanging on so tightly that are keeping us in that same place, keeping us trapped? Can you think of some of these things in our lives? Like maybe you just don't want to pick up the phone, you know, <laughs> or whatever your banana might be. But if you will let go of that banana, then you can be free. So here's another little thing I was thinking about this monkey hanging onto the banana. Is he ever gonna eat this banana? Like, is he gonna? Does this banana bless his life? These hardy kids, they're smart. <laughs> it's never gonna bless his life. He's never gonna eat this banana. So he's trapped and his life is not being blessed in any way. But if he will let go of that banana, then maybe he can leap around in a banana forest. <laughs> so, think of what your bananas might be, let them go, and be free to be exactly what you want to be. Top banana. Keep thriving, my friends.